Hi, I'm Dan Laughlin with HyperMX, and we are at Pocket Gamer London, and I'm joined by Sammy from Fingersoft today. Thank you for joining us, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. So, uh, do tell us a little bit about Fingersoft for those who aren't familiar, and maybe uh, what you do there. Yeah, so uh, Fingersoft sort of uh, got its start in 2012 with, uh, with a little game we call Hill Climb Racing. Uh, grew organically for years. Uh, we're uh, somewhere around 800 million with the first game now, with wow. downloads uh, and uh, a couple of hundred million more with the, with the sequel. And I'm, I'm basically the marketing director of the company. I um, handle sort of everything from corporate branding to, uh, to oversight on UA, mm. uh, even community management, all that stuff. So I sort of, I try to figure out the communication of the company. So as part of the marketing mix and user acquisition, mm. uh, do you work with social influencers at all? And, and how has that how kind of changed the industry? You know, uh, it's not something we were talking about a few years ago, really. Yeah. Influencers, to, to us, is sort of a difficult field because like, our game isn't the most monetizing game in the world. So like, the, making the numbers match is always a challenge so that it makes sense. But we do work, actually, we, we, we found that sort of organic partners are the best way for us and it's it's like there we have made more sort of influence on the content and we can just talk to people so we have YouTube partners for example and that we work with and get feedback on there sort of there's a huge like and we see what they like and what the people watching the videos like oh, and interesting. so it's, so it's, it's actually, more like a development development tool for us it actually informs product it's not yeah, just yeah. a marketing tool yeah Oh, yeah, it's, it's like that's that's I think the angle that is most important for us right now. So Fingersoft uh, in the last couple of years has launched a publishing arm, yeah. Round Zero. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, and maybe what are some of the types of games? You know, if, if there's developers out there that might be interested in working with you guys, what what types of games are a fit for that uh, label? Yeah, so they are actually here in the event as well. So uh, they are. We sort of figured out that sort of being a developer and a publisher you kind of have different business goals and different sort of processes of doing things. So this was uh, like a good way of doing like separating a bit, it a bit from the sort of mother company so that uh, we can sort of have our IPs and brand and we don't always need to think about what they're publishing. Is it right. good fit for us and our brand and everything else? So they have more freedom to test very different games. Anything, it's, it's like free for all basically. Mm. So it's not, Anything people have. If you have a working version of your game, just send it to them okay. and they will test it with our audience. So it could be a totally different audience from a hill climb audience. Even. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they have the published games now, so they use their published games to test new games as well. Right. Of course, like it's good to have a wider portfolio so you have different kind of audiences, casual, mid core, all that. So when you get a larger portfolio, you have a better, better yep. uh, uh, audience then. Right. Test. So uh, 2019, it's a new year. Everybody's got new things they're talking about. What are you excited about right now? Is there a service or a trend or a genre that, that has your interest? I think industry-wise, uh, I'm most excited of like mobile and like hardcore gaming coming closer together, mm -hmm. like what we've seen with Fortnite and right. stuff like that. So right. that it's there's always been this separation almost, yep. and I feel like it's. There's more possibilities to now do cross-platform things, things that can live on all those platforms and they inhabit the same world more mm -hmm. now. And I think that will continue and I'm excited for that. Also, just personally, I became a VR believer this year. Oh, okay. Uh, Congratulations. <laughs> so, uh, I, I found a few good apps and I'm okay. personally excited for that nice. as well. Nice. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. It's great to uh, hear your uh, your story, and, and best of luck for you guys this year. Thank you.